Hey, so I was talking the other day with my buddy, uh, telling him about this Milwaukee Packout. I, you know, I've already done a review on. He he was going to go buy the 15 inch. Uh, I said I bought the 10 inch. Why do you want the 15 inch? I said I think most of the reason people buy 15 inch is because they're overcompensating for something. You know what I mean? Come in. Hey, it's Jacob Palmer from Palmer Electric. How you doing, brother? I'm doing real well. Good to see you. Good oh, see I see you. you got the 15 inch, huh? Yeah, there it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I was just showing them my 10 inch I've got. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's no nowhere near enough space. No, 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 no obviously no. not. Mm -mm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm an electrician, so you know I got a lot of tools to carry around. <laughs> so Jacob is here. Uh, you know, I refinished the basement here a couple of years ago, and I didn't put in a ceiling fan. So Jacob is going to show us his thoughts, his processes uh, on where to pull power from, where to put the switch, and a little bit about how he's going to do it. So uh, you about ready? Let's get started, Steve. Let's do it, man. All right, so so what is that you have there, Jacob? This here is my uh, little Milwaukee M12 uh, inspection camera. Oh, cool. With the rotating screen here. The rotating screen is there to, to orient yourself because, of course, this camera here, it could be twisted any certain way. Yeah, so okay. This, this makes it so that you can twist it so that it, the horizon is at your... Perfect. The, the way you're looking at it. And what is this a joey pouch you have here? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, uh -huh. so, so this, joy. Is, this is my joey pouch and, uh, pouch. and this here, I store just some wire nuts gotcha. in on the day to day. But um, this is also the perfect size to put my Klein Tools multimeter pouch in. Oh, yeah, right perfect. Here, and yeah. walk around with if I need to. Great. Um, and then, all, of course, not to mention any other small tools that might need to get uh -huh. stored in there just whatever now see you there. got the knipex uh, forged wire strippers there right You're exactly right yeah there they are nice are, uh, an absolute workhorse i love these and i've this this is probably my fourth or fifth pair of these really um they've never ever broken on me um the only reason they needed to get replaced is because i cut through a live wire <laughs> and then blew gotcha. up the blaze on it, <laughs> which, you know, yeah. that'll happen every once in a while, but... Well, you got um, a full array here, full uh, Vera insulated screwdrivers, some more Knipex. Oh, you get... Are these Knipex uh, insulated? Yeah, so oh, yeah. Those are the, uh, the Weha brand. Oh, oh, that's the Weha. Yeah, yeah okay. The Weha, the Germans. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've got a little bit of a mix. It's mostly Weha screwdrivers. And of course, I've also got my, on my tool pouch, I've got my Craft Form Compact. Oh, I love that thing. Yeah, I've got a couple of those myself. Mm -hmm. And I also have this uh, S-Wing leather-wrapped handle uh, you got here, this yeah. hammer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that thing's got a little bit more use than mine's got. <laughs> yep. Nice. Absolutely. It's, it's uh, you know, that's a 19-ounce uh, framing hammer there. So it's, oh, okay. It's, it's, it is a lot of hammer for the work that I do as an electrician. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But frankly, I bought it because it looks so uh -huh, cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I have found that the most of the electronic stud finders that I've used in the past just aren't as reliable as I wish they were. Right. You know, they, what, do you got a little stud buddy or something like that? Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. these little silicone wrap mags. Oh, okay, and yeah. Then, and then I put some scotch tape over it also whenever I use them. Right. Just because sometimes it'll leave little marks on the drywall. Not super noticeable from the floor, but I, I try. I do my best to look out for little details like that. So okay. we'll pull power from these receptacles here. Usually okay. general use lights and receptacles in spaces like a living room like this will be on the same circuit. So. And you were saying you wanted it centered of these can lights because if you put them closer to this can light you'll get some strobing effect right you're exactly right um and I, i'm looking at the couch placement here yeah if we moved it a little bit too far that way whoever's sitting in this seat here look that that can right there is just going to be flashing in okay that place the whole well time. that's that's good yeah i'm glad you uh glad you did that and man you really take care of the area here he's got plastic everywhere mm -hmm. uh make sure you know the Customer stays happy, and I've noticed that in all of your videos that you do, you do, oh, yes. do a no, good job of protecting. It's extremely important to me, um, just as, as a person and as an electrician. You know, it shows a certain level of professionalism. Right. Avoid that thought. After I've left, there's nothing for. There's no evidence. Right. I was right. never here except for the fact that there's a new fan. See, he's not a normal electrician. Because <laughs> electricians are known for not cleaning up their area. Exactly. Oh, no, I, I, I've got rooms. Trust me. Here 
Here's our water. All right. What's your thinking on where to pull power from, Jacob? Well, I was really, I'd really like to pull power from the inside general use lighting and receptacle circuit. Okay. Um, just so that, you know, it, it makes sense if somebody in the future were to c try to look for that breaker. It's already labeled. It's in that same space. Right, right. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull apart this outlet that I know is on the other side of this wall beneath the TV. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to poke one of my screwdrivers through so I can locate it on this side of the wall here. Gotcha. Um, and then I'll bring it up a little bit, install a single gang box with a switch. Um, the switch will be in here, which is kind of odd, but we've got a remote operated fan. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so for day to day use, you know, just use the remote. Never use for the a switch light anyway. Fan. Correct. And then the, the I I I really like to install a switch for this type of thing for the same reason that I mentioned with the breakers, um, for serviceability. So somebody right. coming in the future, they have the opportunity to turn it off um, without having. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. Turn off and I'll just put a little label on there, label fan. Uh, they'll know exactly what it is. Exactly. My fine tools circuit tester. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can tell that this one's been pretty well used also. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the way this works is you plug this right in to an outlet. And then that there is a transmitter that sends a signal through the wiring of that circuit. And then it comes with a little magic wand here. And you run it on the breakers inside the panel here. And when you find the one that you're looking for. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? I think it's beeping a little bit more. it over. And this side of this stud here is where we need to come down. So I'm going to go ahead and get my single gang box installed right here for our switch. And then I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of these cable stackers right here uh -huh. for securement for my wire. Um, I'm, I'm choosing to use these cable stackers instead of just standard staples because, um, well, one, it's going to be difficult to get a hammer in here behind this Tyvek and amongst this insta insulation here to go sideways to get a staple over my wire there. We're on the tool channel, so I thought I'd go ahead and get out yeah, all, there all, you go. all the gadgets. Nice. Get in the light. This is my Milwaukee M12 cable stapler here. It fires one inch insulated staples. Come in a okay. little clip like that. I'm excited to try this uh, electrician hammer here too that, that Steve has. Yeah, the Weeha. <laughs> Weeha. Weeha, the Germans. Yeah, the Weeha. <laughs> and and Vera. Exactly. There we are. Once more here. Man, very nice. Perfect. You got to hold it with your wrist. You know, you can't you can't limp wrist it. Um, but it, it does make it so that you can kind of gauge how how hard you want that staple to hold on to it. Right. Once you have some experience with the tool. Jacob's got to work around all my barbecuing equipment here. <laughs> oh, like a pro. Not bad. Not like bad a at pro. All. Perfect. We'll get a few of these. Now, technically, this wire here only needs to be stapled for code, technically, about every four feet, a little over four feet or so. Now, that's not how I do things. I'm, I prefer to keep it nice and neat, so I, I usually add extra securement whenever I'm installing Romex cable like this. Just for, just because, you know, it doesn't hardly cost me anything extra, except for a few cents for the part and about 20 seconds of time. Have you got your little staple? Oh yeah, I'll see guys, he I'll wants see. to borrow, he wants to borrow the flex. He's a red man, but he wants, he likes the gray too. Yep, yeah, no, I've, I see these around. They look pretty nice and it feel, I gotta say, it. it I, uh, it honestly does feel pretty nice in the hand, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, those, uh, those flex are well built. Not bad at all. We'll get this stapled up, being very mindful of the other cables and things that I have here. So, Jacob, how did you decide to start your own electrical business? You know, these days, guys your age, uh, not many of them are going into the trades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I hate to say that I fell into it. But I fell into it. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. No, so um, immediately, or I graduated high school, class of 2020. It's COVID year. 
Um, I was a great student in high school. I did all the ac academic extracurriculars and passed with honors and student leadership. Uh, but tell you what, online college was not for me. Oh, God, so, that's um, right. Yeah, so I, I had just finished deciding that I really hated it uh, whenever the opportunity to start an apprenticeship came along. Uh, my mom actually hired um, a gentleman who mentioned that he needed help. At that time in my life, I had the opportunity to try something totally new, and you know, so I already had a, a you know a, a basic understanding of electric of the theory. I could already do the math pretty well, so I started my apprenticeship, and here we are, just a few years later. Um, I got all my qualifying hours, and I passed my licensing exam here in North Carolina on my first try. This is going to be our switch leg. Here's our power. We'll pull our neutrals together. How do you feel about Wagos? <laughs> I got some in my pocket right oh, now. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. get ready to use them on the fan, I guess. Um, yes, uh, I was going to use them on the. F oh wait, I got to back that up. I'm not going to use them on the fan because oh, okay. I ran. I used my last few um, inline wigos at my last job. Oh, I got you. But I do have some of these five port wigos, and these are what I'll be using to um, make up the uh, receptacle box oh, down okay. in there. Because of course we'll have three wires, three three cables rather. Yeah. going into that box there and then we also need a uh, a pigtail hot and neutral and ground to go to our receptacle right so i uh, like those when you're when you got stranded and uh, mm -hmm. with solid you know yep that's a, just so much easier to that do that is a perfect use case absolutely yes yeah i try to, i don't use them in, in applications that are that I know will be very high amperage. Right. Things like you right. know, if I'm installing an outlet because somebody wants a space heater there, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and use a, a wire nut if I have to make splices on that circuit. Right. Um, but uh, for for general use on a little 15 amp circuit like this, um, I I I have used hundreds and hundreds of Wagos and I have not heard a single thing about no, them. No, no problem. No callbacks. Um. So. Yeah, they're very controversial these days. Absolutely, they are. Yes. And, 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 you know, in my YouTube comments section, I get both ends of it. Uh -huh. I get people, you know, if, if they see me using a wire nut, they're like, why aren't you using a Wago? That's, they're so much more reliable, and they're they're easier, and they're neater. And then I also, if I use a Wago, I see it get people, oh, those things are going to burn up in two weeks. You're going to get a call back. There's but, a lot of know-it-alls on YouTube. Oh, you're, oh absolutely. And, and the electricians are the worst. <laughs> All right, so we got the wire coming this is a receptacle we got the wire coming from the switch in there yep this is this to is, here yeah this is the wire well, this is the power going out of this going up to our switch that's here somewhere right uh, so we're going to get all these wires straightened out get this removed get that out of there we have new little wires that we'll use these forged wire strippers have a little groove right in the tip of the pliers that, that's uh, made for getting a hold of the end of wires here, getting them straightened out so you can get a nice cool. little, yeah. like, straight end on there in a jiffy. So that is a neat feature that I like to use. This is where I'm going to go ahead and use my Wago lever nuts. This is the Wago. Hang on a minute. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Look, do you love them or hate them? Leave a comment, right? But um, oh. as for me, I like them. Love them. I, can, I, can, I, I can't. I don't know if I would go as far as say I love these things, but for certain use cases, they're they're a life. Yeah, low yeah. power fan. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you never had a problem, so why hey, not? I've installed many of them and no callbacks so far. I still think, guys, I still think I'm going to mount a fire extinguisher right here to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, here it is. Jacob did an amazing job. Very fast. If I'd have done this by myself, which I was planning on doing, I'd still be pulling the wire. I tell you, this kid is, uh, 
he does good work. He's going to get a switch right now. We're going to put a switch in that little, uh, little area back there and we'll turn it on and see what it's like. All right, Jacob just finished up. There we are. Let's turn it on. I'll let you do the honors, Steve. Now let's Very see. nice. Good job, Jacob. Yeah, nice cool breeze. Right there, there you go, brother. Good job. Well, I sure appreciate you coming down and doing this for me. Of course. Well, I appreciate you. And having me. yeah, I appreciate you uh, telling us your thoughts and your processes as you know how to mm -hmm. how DIYers can put on put on their own fan if they want to. I don't know if they'll be able to do it as fast as you did, but. Yeah, maybe Maybe they'll be able to do it. They might be better off calling a professional, but I am happy to share my knowledge anytime. Well, Thank I you appreciate, for having me. I appreciate that. Done. We appreciate you coming by, Jacob. You did a great job. Thanks for uh, having me. I know everybody's going to get a lot of uh, education out of this video, and uh, hopefully he'll help you if you want to try to do something yourself. Uh, like he, he always says, call a professional, but you know how his DIYers are. We <laughs> like to try to do stuff ourselves. But Jacob, real quick, I want to give you a present from the channel. This is the new, now I know you're a Milwaukee man, but this is a new Flex uh, Turbo Hammer Drill. It is one of the strongest drills on the market. Wow. I have tested it against your 2904, which I have, and I really like Milwaukee, by the way. I like love Milwaukee tools, but I love Flex tools too. So I hope you can get some good use out of this. It's got a five amp hour battery, a charger, it's a whole kit, so. That's awesome, man, I really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate you coming by and helping us out That's on the channel. That's super cool, man. I can't wait to try this out. I haven't used any of the Flex tools before. Yeah, so. well, I want to see it on some of your videos. By the way, Palmer, is it Palmer Electric or Palmer Electrical? Palmer Electrical on YouTube. Palmer Electrical, he's got a channel on YouTube. I've been following him for a few months right now, or now, and I really love his channel. Uh, watch all the videos he puts out. He puts out every week or two. He'll put out a new video of him working. So uh, give him a give him a shout out on the channel. Well, thank you, Steve. All right. I appreciate it. See you next week.